Holiday shopping season's coming up. We've heard a lot of different conflicting reports. Some people say the consumer's stretched. Then we hear estimates that we're going to see a record holiday season. When it comes to your products, we mentioned some of your well-known names, Banana Boat, Schick Razors. What kind of consumer spending are you seeing? Yeah, we're seeing a very resilient consumer. Um, the past 13-week trends for consumer spending, both domestically here in the United States as well as beyond, has been in line with the past 52-week trends. And so that's depending on the category that we play in, shave, grooming, fem care, sun care, skin care, low to mid single digit growth rate. And so we've not seen that change. Um, we grew 4% organic last year. We're guiding it to a similar range for the year ahead. We start our new year, October 1. Um, and what's interesting for us is we're seeing a good mix of volume and price growth. Two thirds of our growth from here will okay. be pricing. A third will be volume. So very resilient consumer to this point. All right, so I want to talk about one thing that you mentioned on your call, which was inflation impacts and also higher rate impacts. Give us a sense. How are the higher rates impacting your business? Is it impacting your business internally or is it impacting the consumer? Well, it impacts us internally. We do have some leverage. We're levered 3.4 times. Um, we're working to, to reduce that to, to below three times by the end of the year. So there is a little bit of a P&L impact from that. Um, but the bigger thing I think to, to worry about from here is the consumer and the impact over time that, that higher rates ultimately have on consumer purchase decisions. As I said to this point, we've not yet seen that impact of higher rates dent consumer demand, but it is something that we're watching very closely and we're prepared for, as I think others would be, that if we start to see consumer demand fall a little bit, which would be less frequency of use or trade down to lower price products within the portfolio, then we'll respond with, with spend okay. adjustments. Um, I also want to talk about the consumer. We talk about the consumer as if it's a monolith. It certainly isn't. You've actually unveiled, um, rolled out, I should say, a line of uh, beauty products specifically designed to target um, Gen Zers and some younger millennials. Give us a sense. Why is it so important for you to grow your business in that area? It's the consumer of the future, right? As, as you capture people coming into the category, you want to capture the younger cohorts. And so I, I have uh, one millennial, two Gen Zs in my household. We spend a lot of time getting to know that consumer with, with our consumer data. And, and one of the things we see is that Gen Zs and millennials are willing to spend. They're always looking for value. That's the first thing they look for. It's not just price point, it was price quality. So they're looking for value. They're looking for brands that match their personal values. More than ever, they're gonna buy a brand that expresses um, their personal value. So as we look at our offering and what we can what we can offer to the consumer, we've got an eye towards that younger consumer and capturing them, getting them into our brands. And one of the ways we do that is where do we spend our money? We're almost 100% digital advertising now. Um, we're the number one brands, Schick, Hydra, Silk on women's, Schick, men's, on TikTok. From, from a followership. Really? And so we reach them almost exclusively through social media.